Hey, I'm Carrie Blogger. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome for the very first time all around. Welcome. I'm Carrie Blogger, a career freelancer on Fiverr.com where I've been selling as a Fiverr Pro verified copywriter for about the past nine years. And in today's video, like I said, you're following along with me for a day in my life. Lots of work, lots of random preparation for stuff going on in my personal life. And also weirdly enough, a lot of driving. So this morning I woke up at nine, which seems silly. Um, I did not go to bed until midnight because I'm having a terrible time falling asleep. Lots of anxiety stuff swirling around in my head. The baby also wakes up around five. So we do the feed and wake up and go back to sleep thing. That's always fun. <laughs> And this morning with a late start, we headed out to go out to my grandmother's house to drop off some books for her and some paperwork. I made sure before we left the house that I queued up my laptop, I got my document ready for a project I needed to do, I opened all my tabs so I could work without Wi-Fi, and in the car on the way down there, I got a whole two sentences done, yay! yay. <laughs> Luckily, on the way back up, going north, I finished the document. So. That job was to write a press release for a client. They are a translation company based in Argentina. I don't usually offer discounts for people, but in this case, I gave them a 10% discount because I had written a very similar press release for them before that they ended up not being able to use time-wise. So they needed kind of an updated version for this. Some of it's probably going to get repurposed or at least I've essentially done a lot of the thinking work <laughs> several months ago for them. The total was 365. And I don't know for sure how long it actually took me to do it, but I did it. So it got done. After Fiverr's cut of 20%, that turns into $292. And let's just say for a nice even round number, it took me an hour and a half. Also, before we raced out the door this morning, we took COVID tests because, you know, we're in a pandy. Allergies are feeling a little rough and it's always hard to tell, is it COVID or is it just allergies? And luckily in this case, it's just allergies, which made me feel a lot better. Like I said, lots and lots of driving. Um, we're in the process of moving and I mentioned this in my last video. Funny enough, we did not have really any intention of moving, but the person who used to live here in this house has messaged me about four times over the past two years and some months that we've lived here saying that she really misses it, that she really regrets ever selling the house and she wants it back. And we'd always said, no, we love this house. We're not really interested in moving. And every time she reached out, the offer just got a little bit better. <laughs> and as it turns out, everybody has a price. I'm also stressed because we are going on a cruise. Get ready for a time warp, guys. Today is actually July 22nd. And I know that this video is not going out until like mid-August. Welcome back to the past. We're going on a cruise next week. And the only reason I can say this with confidence and know you guys are not gonna come rob me is because this will have already happened by the time this video comes out. And somehow I've turned into the cruise director for our family group that's going, which I guess I'm not surprised by. I'm usually the cruise director of anything, but it's a lot of work. Paired with all the house stuff that has to happen, paired with all the work stuff that I have to get done before we leave, it's a lot. So working in the car today, it was a nice little breather. I got that done. And then we got in and out, which there's only two in and outs in all of Oregon. It's kind of a stretch to go there because usually the wait is a, like realistically 45 minutes. Came 
back home, made a little smoothie just to reset the tum-tum. <laughs> that burger was not very nice to me. And then came the stress of tonight's big ordeal, hosting a webinar. was a really cool experience and I'm really glad I got to do it. That paid $200. I think they said they're gonna pay me 250 for a tip and after Fiverr's cut. So I got 160 for that. It took about an hour. It was only supposed to be 30 minutes, but of course I yada, 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 talk, talk, talk. I also spent about an hour making slides for it. I had planned to do two more orders today. I need to do a written strategy assessment consultation for someone. And I have another press release to write this time for a Portland based CBD company that I've really enjoyed working with. But I don't think I'm gonna do that tonight, which I know I'm always, I always do this in these videos. I say, I've got something to do. I guess I'll do it tomorrow. Instead, I'm going to edit a segment that I just filmed for a brand sponsor coming up. That shouldn't take me too long. It'll make me feel better. It'll just be one more little thing to do. And then I'm going back to spend time with the baby and my amazing husband. That's pretty much been my day in a nutshell. No two days are alike. This especially is true. <laughs> Today is weird. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, you know you are my actual hero. Please make sure to check out the links to stuff I've got going on in the pinned comment and description down below. Oh no, I hear my baby is crying. Let's hurry it up. Remember you are worth so much more than your workload and let's get back to work.